we're here to announce the arrest of 24 alleged child predators, the result of a week-long, collaborative, multi-agency law enforcement operation that we called Operation Open House. These 24 men were allegedly lurking on social media, looking for vulnerable underage boys and girls to sexually assault. Instead, as alleged in our complaints, they ended up preying upon undercover officers posing as children. And when they showed up at our undercover house seeking to meet their intended victims for sex, they were arrested. The defendants are now charged with serious crimes and are either behind bars or subject to very stringent pretrial monitoring. Among those arrested are a police officer, a nurse, a firefighter, college students, and a registered sex offender. In short, these defendants come from all walks of life. But as we allege in our complaints, they shared a depraved and dangerous proclivity to sexually exploit underage children. As just one shocking example, in this operation, we arrested a 47-year-old Howell Township police sergeant. Richard Conti, who we allege betrayed his oath and his badge. Conti claimed during his chats that he was a 19-year-old male. Believing that he was chatting with a 15-year-old girl, he allegedly, allegedly said that he had had sex with underage girls and wanted to meet the girl to, quote, get naked, close quote. He had condoms in his pocket when he was arrested. As a result of his actions, he's charged with second-degree luring. He has been suspended from his job, he has surrendered his weapons, and he is under court-ordered home detention. While there have always been child predators, what this investigation highlights is that their methods are constantly changing in the Internet age. In an earlier time, child predators stalked children at playgrounds, at schoolyards, and at shopping malls. They look for vulnerable children to groom for exploitation. But now they also lurk on social media, where they utilize the anonymity of the internet to target the same vulnerable children by presenting themselves in whatever disguise serves their sinister purposes. And even on the internet, they've moved from those chat rooms to chat apps. But to counter this threat, we've adjusted our methods as well. We are working collaboratively, aggressively, across all law levels of law enforcement to apprehend these offenders through investigations like Operation Open House and through actions that we take each and every day on social media. We're determined to stop this type of predatory behavior against our children and to bring these offenders to justice. We want child predators to know that we are on social media too and that the next child that they may target may be an undercover officer waiting for them with handcuffs. That's the message of Operation Open House. But here's the thing. Law enforcement cannot do this alone. We need the help of parents and family members to do their part. We need them to help keep children safe on the Internet. And that's why we have this parental warning here to my right. These are some of the apps that were used in this operation by the child predators who were targeting children on the internet and on social media. And they're also from past law enforcement operations conducted by, by the Internet Tri Crimes Against Children Task Force. It's absolutely critical that parents familiarize themselves with these apps. Just as you are vigilant about a stranger approaching your child in a park, you need to be equally, if not more, vigilant about the dangers lurking in these new cyber playgrounds. Make sure that the apps on your children's devices are age appropriate. Talk to your children about social media and chat apps like these. Let them know that the people they encounter may not be who they initially seem to be. Warn them not to share personal information or pictures with strangers they encounter on the Internet. Only together can we fully ensure the safety and well-being of our children. During Operation Open House, undercover detectives engaged in chats with the charged defendants for some time leading up to the Meet Week, 
uh, when the arrests were made. In some instances, they chatted for a week. In others, they chatted for two to three days. The undercover house, a four bedroom house in Tom's River, was staffed during the arrests with dozens of officers and evidence technicians who worked on surveillance, arrest, interview, and evidence teams. Numerous attorneys were stationed nearby at the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office to provide additional assistance. These alleged child predators traveled near and far, hoping to find their underage and unguarded victims home alone. One man, Defendant Nandalal, came all the way from the Bronx, New York, over 90 miles to the undercover house. Another, Defendant Walton, came from Hillsborough, New Jersey, over 70 miles. And still others came from Gloucester, Middlesex, Atlantic, and Burlington counties, anywhere between 34 and 64 miles away. But instead of finding an unprotected child to sexually assault, most of these defendants were met by law enforcement officers when they arrived at our open house. A few defendants were arrested at other meetup locations or near such locations. They were promptly placed under arrest, and in some cases, they were placed under arrest by the very officer who portrayed the child they targeted for sex. All 24 men who were arrested during this operation now stand charged with second degree attempted luring or enticing a child with a purpose to commit a criminal offense against the child. Many of them also face additional charges, including second degree aggravated, uh, excuse me, attempted sexual assault on a minor and third degree attempted debauching the morals of a child. Five of these defendants face third degree charges of attempted sharing obscene material with a child for allegedly sending sexually explicit photos of themselves to the undercover detectives. As far as the penalties for these crimes go, in New Jersey, second degree uh, charges carry a sentence of five to 10 years in prison, while third degree charges carry a sentence of three to five years in prison. This investigation, however, does not stop at the time that these defendants are placed under arrest. Following their arrests, attorneys and detectives worked together seamlessly to draft search warrants for NEC's digital uh, devices, including the defendant's cell phones. All seized devices were taken to the forensic computer lab at the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office where they will undergo full forensic examinations. Those examinations, which are ongoing, will determine if the devices contain any additional evidence uh, of prior encounters with underage victims that may constitute additional cases of luring, sexual assault, or child endangerment. Detention hearings for all 24 defendants were held last week. Registered sex offender Thomas Blumensteel was ordered jailed until trial, while all other men are subject to pretrial monitoring. Defendant Richard Conti, who is now suspended from his job as a sergeant with the Howell Township Police Department, was ordered to remain in home detention. He is permitted to leave the house only for court-related appointments and appearances, meetings with his attorneys, and doctor's appointments. He is to have no unsupervised contact with children under the age of 18 and no use of the internet. His weapons were seized and he was ordered to obtain a mental health evaluation and counseling if recommended. All of the defendants at a minimum were ordered to report regularly to the pretrial services staff in the courts and they are prohibited from using the internet except for work or having unsupervised uh, contact with children under 18. Simply put, these defendants are being closely monitored to prevent them from engaging in any other predatory conduct as we proceed with our prosecutions against them.